Hello, I am Varun Malik and welcome to my vlog. And this vlog will be on types of shots which are taken in filmmaking, either DSLR or a mobile filmmaking. So to start with, the first shot which I will be talking about is extreme long shot or extreme wide shot. Well, extreme wide shot is a very very wide shot taken from a very wide angle and you can take a location on that a very widely you can frame that and you can take that location you might show your subject on that location and as you can establish the location it is also consisting of establishing shot yes establishing shot also comes in extreme long shot and you can take that also in this shot well the next shot is long shot or wide shot long shot is a little closer but not that much little closer than extreme long shot but still a very wide shot and it covers a character from under the legs till the head and above that head area and that in that uh, shot what you can do is you can show what the activity of your character is doing in to some extent you can show that so the next shot is mid long shot or mid wide shot so mid long shot covers the subject from the knees area and till the above of the head of any subject above the head is also very important as you have to leave some head room also in this shot you can show better head activity of the subject as compared to long shots here also background is there present and subject can be viewed in comparison with background and people can have an idea where the subject is standing or whatever he is doing you can show that he is talking on a mobile phone or anything like that you want next in the list is mid shot well mid shot is a shot which covers the subject from waist area till the head above head and as it covers from the waist area it is also known as waist shot so in this shot you can show the activity of the character in a better way and that in that in this shot your background starts to become less in comparison with your subject but still there is background present and audience can see that background very well and the next shot which i will be telling is mid close up shot well mid close up shot covers the subject from the chest area to the little above above the head of the character in this shot what a director or you can do is you can show the expression of a character what he or she is trying to express in the film so the next shot which i am talking about is close up shot well close up shot covers the subject from the shoulder area to the very very little above the head because as you come closer to the subject your background and the head room starts decreasing a lot and this in this shot what you can do is you can show the expression of your characters in a very better way and what they are trying to express you can show that so the next shot is big close up shot well big close up shot covers your character from near chin area to the head and here head room will start cutting and there will be very less background visible and it might uh, hardly be any identifiable in comparison with subject in this shot what you can do is you you can show the details of the expression of your character like like your eyes like like the smile who is doing hmm, something like that you can show those uh, things in your big close up the details of uh, details of expression i should say and that will cover uh, this much frame not very close this much frame and you can show a little more detail than than the close up shot next in the list is extreme close up shot extreme close up shot is covering only the particular thing of a subject and there is no background available in the uh, frame and you and the viewer cannot see anything else either than those things uh, for example you can show the eyes of your character and nothing else will be visible no background nothing else only eyes will be visible and you can use this these types of shots when you are trying to create some suspense throughout your film when you are revealing your character with a suspense you can show your you can show the lips like this then you can show your uh, the character's eyes like this and you can create suspense and then establish your character 
well next in the list is two shot and three shot well two shot and three shot depends upon the number of characters placed in your frame if there are two characters then it is called two shot if there are three characters then it is called three shot next is over the shoulder shot well over the shoulder shot is taken when there are two characters standing opposite each other mm -hmm. facing each other and the camera is placed behind one person's shoulder and it is framing the other person and is showing what the expression or what the first person is talking about so that is also very important and you can take it as per your situations in your films and it is very common in films also so the next shot is the handheld shot well handheld shot is a shot where you don't need any stabilization like a tripod monopod or a gimbal here you have to create movements intentionally you have to create those tensions those uneasiness and that is why this shot is taken when a director wants to create some uneasiness some uh, fear some uh, tensions then this these shots are taken and uh, supposedly someone is running from a villain and is trying to um, save himself though in those shots a director can show those these handheld shots and audience will connect to these shot even better because when someone is running the movement is happening obviously and audience connect to that movement really better and uneasiness tension are among their emotions which arises in the audience also so i think this is it for this video these are these were the types of shots i will take a goodbye from you thank you